taking a walk back into the forest. Uh, not sure of the year, but there's a monument back here where it's called the Lost Children of the Alleghenies, where I guess two young kids went missing, and uh, I forget how long he was missing, but they eventually found them back here, and they put a monument where they found the boys, where they found them uh, eventually. They have a monument back here. There should be a sign um, stating more about it. I'm not, I really didn't read too much about it before I came out. Just a spare of the moment thing today to one of the places I stopped while I'm out adventuring. But uh, yeah, there's a, I see the sign already. But um, yeah, I forget the ages. They was young, young kids. And uh, they went missing long, long, long time ago. This was way back in the day. And um, eventually they found them. I guess a farmer or something supposedly was having dreams or had a dream of where the kids were. And they came looking and they found them. This is where they found them. I guess they was right there. And uh, that's where they put the monument. But here's a sign. You can pause this and read it. Yeah. Seven and five. 1856. So yeah, it was way back in the day. But you just can pause that and read it. And this is where they found them. This is where they found the, the little kids. I guess they was laying right here. And this is where they put the monument for them. People's leaving toys and stuff here. But yeah. This is it. It's nice that they put a monument up. People leaving toys. Why they're throwing money in there. I don't know why they're throwing money in there, but...
Okay, so that was the Lost Children of the Alleghenies Monument. Uh, couldn't imagine two little kids, what, uh, five and seven, out here lost like that and, you know, died right there. This is a big forest. And back then there was no, there was no trails like this. You know, there was, this was just all probably more of a dense forest than what it is now actually. But uh, it's a shame. So we're gonna head back out of here and go and find uh, go find something else that I can check out today. Just uh, my original plans for today fell through, so I'm just driving around looking for things to get into. Banded Hotel. How's oh, it stinking here? in here. Another, another room. It's just too bad I ain't going in there walking around. Ceilings are falling in, the floor is caving in. I, like it's not even attached to the wall anymore, the ceiling caved in. I'm not going to go in there. There's another old room. goes on down. I don't want to go down there. There's no trespassing signs. This is the Penn Air Motel in Breezewood, Pennsylvania. So this was my 
second stop for the day in-ground pool right there used to be an in-ground pool wow this this one here just completely the floor and everything just completely caved in there's not even a floor in there wow that's terrible Yeah, you can't even. I'm waiting for somebody to start yelling at us. You're trespassing. See it through the window, looking at us. Oh, yeah. Cats looking at Huh, that was the bathroom. There's the shower head. Huh. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Old hotel. Wow. Pretty bad. Yeah, there ain't even no floor. The floor and everything's caved in on these things. So I can't really get in there and snoop around because... Uh, there is no floor and it's not worth hurting myself or getting rusty nails in my foot. Pretty bad. Let's go. Yeah, that was the last room there. So, go over here and I'll get the in-ground pool on there. Oh, crap. Okay, here's the in-ground pool. The in-ground pool that used to be here. That's a nice pool. Deep. All right, we're bailing out of here. So that was the uh, Jackrabbit Flats. Jackrabbit Flats or Pan Air Motel in Breezewood, PA. Get a picture on this side of the side. Mm -hmm. Yep, just driving around today looking for places. We went to the Lost Children of the Alleghenies. And now we stopped here. So that was the motel. Old abandoned, old abandoned house. Can't get in it. It says that there it's electronically security device on it. No trespassing. So, can't get in it, but I'll get some video from the road here, I guess. I don't want to go in there if there's electronic security device or whatever the heck they got on there. It says, warning, these premises are protected by an electronic security device. And there's a post-it thing. <laughs> Would have been a nice farm. It's been sitting empty for years and years and years like this. Okay, at another old place. Old log cabin. I want that mirror. I used to have a mirror like this. Hope this is coming up on the video good. I mean, it's starting to lose daylight. But, uh, yeah, old cabin.
little stoves, refrigerator. Down there is the basement, but obviously can't get on there. I don't have a flashlight. Well, the floor is starting to cave in. I would so fix this cabin. <laughs> Bathroom. I'm going to attempt the upstairs. I don't know if I should or not. I want to I want to see the upstairs, but these steps aren't really feeling sturdy. All right, so here's a bedroom. Bedroom cabin. Steps are they keeping in? This is nice. So I'm gonna snap some photos before it gets too dark. <laughs> 